Hey guys, you're here today with Coach Smith. And we're going to go over some D-line things, some basic drills, stance, reset, step, run fits, hand strikes, hand placement, uh, get-offs, and, and the knee explosion on your first step as far as you're getting off. So here we're going to start with just some basic stance, primarily getting ready for the run. I want you to start kind of square up just to get you a base up front of you. So take your left foot, your right foot, set it back to the instep of your left foot. Squat down as you're doing a squat. Lightly put your hand down on the ground. Low, little to no pressure down on the ground. Opposite hand, ready up, thumb up, ready to strike. Lower your butt, eyes up. That's a great stance. And now we're going to progress to the step, the re-step. As I swipe your hand, you want to gently have your hand on the ground. So if I swipe, you won't be able to fall for it. That's kind of my tester. As you get set, you have too much weight in your hand. If I swipe, you're going to fall flat in your face. We don't want that. We want you light to be able to get lateral down the line. Re-step. We're going to have to re-step. Step. A six-inch step. Shoot your hands. Butt down. Eyes up. That kind of give you a key. And after that, you're either going to go loud or down the line or whatever your key read may takes you. So here we're going to go run fits. So the different options we have is 50-50, which is head up. Your guy's base blocking you. You want to have your hands inside of his shoulder bay plate. Both hands inside, thumbs up, palms up, strike. The next one we have is a 60-30 fit, I like to say, which means kind of your guy's trying to reach you. Either the offensive guard or the tackle trying to reach you outside. And then your, your right arm will kind of be down the, the middle of the shoulder bay plate. Palms up still, thumb up, strike it. Your outside shoulder, outside hand should be on the shoulder of the shoulder pad in the, in the same sense of thumbs up, strike it. You want to kind of at all times keep contained not contain, you want to control that guy. The most the, the most important thing of the D-line is control. You, know, you want to fire low, power, of course, and control that guy. The next one is a 70-20 is a fit, which means pretty much outside zone. The guy's just bailing out right now, trying to get to the next man. So as he does that, you want to get your hand on the shoulder pads. Both hands on the outside shoulder pads to get as much as you can. It was a tough Tough, you know what I'm saying, tough to get on that one, but you got to grab something, you know what I'm saying, just so you can start to stay in your right fit. I feel like that's the toughest one you do, but the more you, the more reps you get at it, the better you'll get at it. So now we're going over to get-offs. This is a different one, so you get, you can have as much pressure on your hand as one. I just want you to explode out like you're getting ready to run your 40. And I, the, the drill I like to do for that is kind of put a bag down and kind of force you to drive your knee up. And as that goes, I look for your knee flattening out to the left or whatever, or versus it coming straight up and down. Drive it up to your chest, back down. Explode out like a cannon. Here are a few reps. That wasn't the best looking rep. Now we're going to progress to the, the power of the hands. I want your, your hips extended already, hips extended. I just want to see your hand strike, hand strike, hand strike. Thumbs up, palms up, strike. Now we're going to go to the using your hips, getting your hips involved, more power. More power, same hip, same hand strength, same hand strike. Through the hips with it this time. Through your hips. Bring your hips. Shoot your hands. That was a horrible rep. I want him to see more hips. Get more hips into it. That's it. That's better. Get your hips. Shoot your hips in your hands at the same time. Did you get some power? Then we're gonna do it from all fours. He can give me a little bit more power. The concept is just as you try to just run, explode through the bag. I want you to explode through the bag. 
Exposed through the back. To kind of sum it all up, man, as a D lineman, you have to be physical, tough, ready, prepared for anything. You have to be smart, light on your feet, be able to move sideline to sideline, lateral, 